now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the magnitude of the projected component of f along ac express this component as a cartesian vector so first of all we have to find the magnitude of that component of force f which is acting along this ac line right so that magnitude of the component of that force f along ac magnitude this will be equal to that f and the dot product with the unit vector from A to C. So from A to C. So we need to find the unit vector from A to C. The unit vector from A to C. This is always equal to the position vector from A to C. Divided by its magnitude. So now to write the unit vector from the position vector from A to C. We need to reach that point C from A. And we will move along the X, Y and Z axis respectively. So to reach that point C from A, we need to move 3 plus 4 feet in the positive I direction. So this is 7 feet. So I will write this is the position vector is 7I plus 7I. And then we need to move uh, from here to here in this direction. So this distance is 4 plus 2. This is 6 feet in the positive Y direction. So that is in the positive J. So I will write plus 6J. And then we will move this 4 feet distance in the negative z direction that is in the negative k. So this is minus 4k. So this is the position vector from A to C divided by its magnitude. Its magnitude is 7 square plus 6 square plus minus 4 square. So this is the position vector, uh, position vector from A to C and this is its magnitude. Let me find its magnitude that is 7 square plus 6 square is 36 plus minus 4 square is 16 so this gives me 101 square root so let me write this is 101 square root now we will take the dot part so that will give us the component of the magnitude of the component of force f along that ac line so f is given f is 30i this is given this is 30i minus 45j plus 50k and dot product with this this is 7i plus 6j minus 4k divided by its magnitude which is 101 square root so this is now we will take the dot product dot product is with i with i j with j and k with k so this is 30 into 7 minus 45 into 6 and plus 50 into minus 4 divided by square root 101. So this gives us minus 25.871. So FAC magnitude is minus 25.871. 871 pounds so the minus sign indicates that the component of that force f is acting from c to a not from a to c we have used the unit vector from a to c but the component is acting from c to a right and its magnitude is 25.87 now further it is said that express this component is a cartesian vector so we have to find its cartesian vector so we need to write this FAC as a Cartesian vector. So it will be equal to FAC magnitude times the unit vector from A to C. The unit vector from A to C. So if we are using the unit vector from A to C, so according to that unit vector, the magnitude is minus. So, and if you people are using this uh, magnitude value as plus, so then the unit vector will be from C to A. So, since we have used the unit vector from A to C, we will use the same magnitude and that same unit vector from A to C. So, the magnitude is minus 25.871 and this will be the dot product, remember. Or, it doesn't matter since it's, it's only, uh, this is the magnitude times the unit vector. So the dot product or the simple multiplication doesn't matter, it will give us the same answer, right? So this is FAC into the unit vector AC. So the unit vector AC is 
from here we can write it as this will be divided by that square root 101 multiply by that 7i plus 6j minus 4k. So this is minus a uh, minus 25.871 divided by square root 101. This is minus 2.574. Into 7i plus 6j minus 4k. And now we need to multiply this with each component. This is minus, uh, minus 2.574 into 7. This is minus 18.02 minus 18.02i and then with 6 this is minus 15.44 minus 15.44j then with minus 4 10.30 so this is plus 10.30k. So this is the Cartesian vector representation of the component of force F along that AC line.